This video is how to use animations in Game Lab and also animation frames to make cool effects. So here we are in code.org and I have the most basic program I can think of here. You've created a sprite, given it an animation, which is just a fancy way of saying picture. Then we've added a blank white background and we've drawn a sprite on the screen. And here's what it looks like. And what I want to draw your attention to is the movement of the arms and the legs. So when I say animation, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so to get to that, uh, right here is the image associated with my sprite. And as you can see, it has two frames, one with the legs apart and one with the legs together. And just so you can see that a little more clearly in the animation, I'm going to take this first one, well, the second one, and paint his eye red, and then I'll take this first one and paint his eye green and then we'll reset it and you can see that it's just toggling between those two images so if you create your game and game lab by coming over here to create and making one here or if you go into your projects tab and create there then all of these features of animation frames will be available but if you're in a lesson making a game in computer science discoveries you may not see these frames unlocked until the very end maybe lessons 20 21 and 22 everywhere else they will be disabled but that's okay because you always have access to them under the create or the projects tab right here so what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of this sort of boring alien that you've seen a million times and then go online and find some cooler stuff so you can search um, sprite generator and you can find all kinds of stuff but I've picked up my favorite here uh, which is the universal sprite generator and uh, I'll put this address here in the in the description so you can find it and what you can do is uh, you can come down here and pick any kind of things you want like uh, for example hats is one I don't have and you can put a helmet on your character and it will give you all the different frames you could possibly need for that character. Or you could put on a, a cloth hood and it would put them on every single version. I actually prefer him without a hat. Um, you could add, um, some of these say female only, which I don't really care for. I'd rather have the freedom to decide. Uh, but there's all kinds of different things. I'll show you a shield, for example. So now all these different animations already have a shield. Uh, I'm going to take that off. Before I started the video, I created the little character that I wanted with red eyes and red hair, gold hands, and a dagger. So uh, here's what he looks like when he's walking. Uh, these are just sort of gifts that are created for you. Uh, I may save that and see what happens. I uh, see it's not going to save the actual individual frames. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, if I were on a Chrome device right now, you could do Control Shift and that little strange button above the six to do a screen capture. But I'm on a Windows device, so I'm going to actually use the snipping tool to do the same thing. And so first, I want to get a few that could be him walking. I, I don't need each individual one. Um, I'm just going to grab a couple of them. So legs apart I'll just call this walk one and then I'll grab an, another one with walk with his legs together I'll save this one as walk two and now I'm going to pause the video and do quite a bit of snipping uh, so that you don't have to sit through watching all of that happen just pause for a moment. So I've gone through and snipped quite a few of these. I've also saved the entire sheet in case I need to go back and snip more of them later. So back in Game Lab, uh, it's time to start adding some animations. So for each one of these, I'm going to. Wow, I've got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to start with the standing pose because that's where I want him to be at the very beginning of the game. And I'll go ahead and switch him from the pink alien over to standing mode so I can see what I have. Okay. Uh, 
Now I'm going to make a new one, and this one is going to be, uh, let's go ahead and do walking. So notice I only have two of those. And the first one I've uploaded there, and now the next one, instead of adding another one, I want to add that as a frame of this first one. So notice you get this kind of sensation here. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some left movement controls. So if the left key is pressed, then I want him to actually go to the left, and I want to change the animation. Me.x equals me.x minus, we'll say 3. And I want to set a new animation for me, which is this walking. And I probably should have gone ahead and called it walking left. Uh, but let's just try it out. So he starts with this pose, and then, oh my. I forgot a dot x right here. Alright. So he's standing still and then he's walking to the left. And that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to pause the video again and I'm going to uh, upload all of my other thrusts into a new animation so that you can see that in action. Okay, so I've added the standing sprite. It's just one image. I've added a walking left sprite that is two frames. I've added uh, the thrust of the dagger, which is three frames inside that animation. And I've got a right thrust, which is also three frames. So back to the game. Um, right now, he just is standing still, so that's the initial animation. And when the left key is pressed, he goes left and it switches to the walking left animation. So if I hit the left key, um, you can see he goes left, but he's also, if you let off the key, like right now, I'm not pressing anything, and he's still going left. So that's the first thing we need to take care of. Uh, so let's grab another if, and say if the key went up, and it needs to be the left key went up. And I'm just going to copy this one because I want to do it again. The standing pose. And I'll control V, paste that in there. So now, when I press left, he walks left. And when I let go, he stands. Uh, stands again. Okay, so that one's taken care of. Now I want to code the space bar to be a dagger thrust. So if the key down of space... We're going to set another animation. I could just drag another one, but I'm going to copy and paste again. And I want to change that one too. Now this is where my naming conventions would have been helpful. Uh, I noticed that right thrust, I think I learned because I did that one second. So my left thrust is this one. Since I haven't coded it yet, I think it would be wise to go ahead and rename. Call this left thrust. Alright, so whenever the space bar is pressed, he's going to thrust left. Okay, so here's walking left, here's letting off of it, and now here's space bar, and there he attacks. And now notice, once again, he's attacking forever, which we don't really want to happen, so we need to do another key up. So I'm going to steal this one, which is another key up. I'll copy, and I'll come down here and paste it. And this time I want to say if the space key went up, I want to put him back into his standing position. So now he walks left, he stands forward, he slashes left, as long as I'm holding it down. And then as soon as I let go, he goes back to normal. Okay, so uh, that part's working. Uh, I haven't got anything for walking to the right, so I'm going to copy this if that made the left and paste it right below, right here. Change this to right, and then I need to increment with a plus instead of this minus here. Because I'm going the other direction on the x-axis. Uh, let's try that. So he goes left, uh, but when I press right, he sort of moonwalks. <laughs> so I notice I don't have anything for walking to the right. I didn't actually snip those. So I could go snip them from the original sprite sheet, or I could take this one, uh, which I should have named walk left, and I'm just going to duplicate it, 
and I'm going to call this new one walk right. And now normally what you would do is just flip right here. Uh, but now notice what my animation is doing. Actually, let's go ahead and stick that one in here because it'll be fun. Uh, okay, here's the right key. So I'm going to change this to walk right. So when he walks left, everything's cool. When he walks to the right, see how he's jumping? That's because you can't just flip right here. That's just for this first frame. You have to flip every frame inside of there. So I have to flip this one as well. And that should do it. So now he walks left. He walks right. He thrusts left as long as I'm holding that down. And then you could make a thrust right as well. I've got the... I have the animations and the frames for that, but I'm not going to bother because it's just the same thing. And so that is one way that you can use uh, animations and animation frames in your own games.